Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. And you should hear my grandson growl. We're going to get him on soon. He can growl, man, big time. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need to accept. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. That's a dynamite card, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 190, Nasdaq's down 141, SP's off three and a half. Gold contract up seven dollars thirty cents, trading at nineteen forty-five an ounce. We have silver up thirteen cents, twenty-four dollars eighty-six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck and a half, buck ninety-eight, ninety-eight dollars two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down sixteen ticks, trading one twenty oh one. The thirty-year off one full point plus seven ticks at one forty-three oh one. And King dollar, King dollar up seventy ticks, trading at ninety-nine eight twenty-one. Euros, excuse, sorry, folks. Excuse me. Euro is 108. The yen is at 124.38, and the British pound is trading at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we'll bring up the SPY first. What you're going to see out here is that you get a market that tried to get the higher price, can't handle it. That's the bottom line. You know, you had the high of yesterday. Well, Wednesday, you had the high volume low, 106. Yesterday, you go higher with 78 sideways. Today, it tries to get into that high. The high of yesterday was at 450.6069. And today, you get 450.63. And you're going to have a contraction of volume. That's the B to C of a small ABC structure on the way down. Uh, if we do this number, let's see what we have. You got 62... 43. Yeah, ooh, that's 20 points. Okay, so you get 20, which gets you 430. Next stop. That would make sense, because there's that big bar. So the big, the ABC structure, if we blow away that B with volume next week, the top of that big volume day when we came off the bottom is going to be 435. Your ABC structure is 430. Uh, so that's basically saying that, hey, guess what? This thing uh, wants to go down into those levels. And the X100, we take a look at the three Qs, which is weaker than the S&P. What you have with the three Qs is this. Three Qs, down 440, get 48 million shares traded. Bottom line, you know, we went to lower price yesterday. It's going to be a lower low today. Uh, now, this is where this gets really into, oh, okay, so there's the number, 340. So that high volume bar is 340 inside the queues. So I'd say that's going to be the next place that you're going to get any type of support. Now, what will happen is this. The way, okay, so next week, you got to calendar wise, you got a four day work week, okay? So you're going to get big action Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday will slow down. And, you know, so the bottom line is if we come down hard and fast Monday, Tuesday, do a little bounce Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be problematic. That's going to be basically set up the next low inside of the marketplace. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? You finally got caught a bid in the gold contract, but we're going to still need more volume. Um, you know, what did, we did have happen out here today is that the gold stock stopped moving even before the dollar gave it up. So it was really intriguing when you're basically looking at this market. It's like, okay, man, you know, the dollar is almost not making all-time highs, but it was up there. It was up there good. Uh, gold, you know, picked its nose up uh, out of the last five days. We're going to need more volume, though. You got 133,000 contracts. You need more volume than that. Silver, we take a look at the silver market. Inside the silver market right now, not bad. Still needs more, too. We get 45,000 in the silver market. You want to basically see 60, 70,000 inside the silver market. We certainly did come back to the breakout area Wednesday. You rejected lower price. Now the bottom line, you need some juice. And good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar out here. What we have with King Dollar is that you got all the way up to 100.189 and then just gave it up in spades. Let me just see this for a second. I'm intraday. Okay, so. Yeah, it just, just went south in two seconds. 
So let me, I'm gonna bring this up to the swings, move this back a little. Is this 102 and you know 103 were, were game? Okay, so now 99, 840. Okay, so even on a weekly, it's still going to be over that swing high. So yeah, this still, this still can go for the highs. The amazing part, folks, is that what you have is that the dollar is basically getting into highs, and gold is is continuing going up. All we need is this dollar move to change just a bit and go down, and you're going to see gold explode, man. Um, so inside of the 10-year, nope, bottom line, 117 is game. Right now you're at 120. You know, we broke down. We had some big price moves on the way down, and I expect you're going to continue to see that. Right now the 10-year is yielding 2.71. So uh, that, no doubt, is some real juice uh, inside of that. Let's go take a look at uh, TWI. So TWI, this is uh, Titan International Trading 1317. And the low for the year is 669. The high is 15. Okay, so there's no doubt it had a nice run, four months. Now you're back to, okay, so once. So what happened with this, the, the real question was, is this, is this dragging down with the rest of the market? I think this finished ABC structure up. One second, 11, 97, seven, that's five, which is 14, 22, it hit 15. Yeah, this finished, this, what this did, this, when you finish an ABC up, you're gonna do something other most times than continue higher. So what you have here is this, you're pulling back, you are pulling back with light volume. You could actually come back to the breakout area. It doesn't look like a wants to, but the breakout area, and this is like 12.15, thus far I did 12.90. And I suspect at that point you'll build cause and once again for higher price. You know, you can see that the potash stocks are going to the moon, that IPI, you know, there's, there's you know, fertilizer folks is going to go up dramatically because the bottom line is that you have basically a food crisis. And then on top of that, you have that most of the fertilizer has come out of Russia, and that's not gonna happen. So, um, more demand, less supply. Dow Industrials right now up 211, you get the NASDAQ down 123, S&P's up one. Stay right there, folks, come right back.